السلام علیکم میں جب جمائی لیتا ہوں تو اپنا ہاتھ اپنے منہ پر رکھ لیتا ہوں کیونکہ ہمارے پیارے نبی حضرت محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم کا ارشاد پاک ہے جب کسی آدمی کو جمائی آئے تو اپنا ہاتھ منہ پر رکھ لے ورنہ شیطان منہ میں داخل ہو جاتا ہے Sneezing, there are also some of the manners which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told. And the same is with yawning. You know, Rasulullah sallam, he told us everything which we need to know, which, which is relating to us from head to toe. Everything Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has told us about how should we spend our life. And these things we, which Rasulullah told us, we should bring it into our lives. Because at the time of corruption, where Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that whoever brings alive my sunnah, he will have the reward of one martyr. Another narration says 100 martyrs. At the time where my ummah will become corrupt. And this is the day which we are living in, and these situations is going to get worse and worse and worse. So it is in these times where if a person he brings alive, he revives the sunnah of Prophet Sallallahu he is getting such reward. And the reward of the martyrs, you know, the virtue of the martyrs, subhanAllah, you think about it, it just, you know, mind-blowing. We're not going to get into that because we don't want this to become really long. Allah Akbar. So however, <coughs> Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he mentioned certain things regarding yawning and regarding sneezing. If a person sneezes and he says Alhamdulillah, then it is right of a Muslim that he or she says Yarhamukallah. That is if a person says Alhamdulillah. Because at, in front of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, a person sneezed and he said Alhamdulillah, he praised Allah. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said Yarhamukallah. Another, another person sneezed, another companion sneezed. And he did not say Alhamdulillah. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did not say Yarhamukallah. The, one of the companions, he asked Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that, O oh, Messenger of Allah, the first person sneezed, you said Yarhamukallah. And the second person sneezed, why is it that you did not say Yarhamukallah to him? Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he replied, because he did not praise Allah, he did not say Alhamdulillah. Sneezing, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that Allah, he likes, you know, the sneezing when a person sneezes because it, you know, it refreshes a person. It takes his laziness away. And Allah, he dislikes yawning. So that's why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that if any of you sneezes and he praises Allah, meaning he says Alhamdulillah, كان حقا على مسلم سمعه أن يشمته. That then it is a right on a Muslim that has heard him that he says يرحمك الله. And Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that if any of you sneezes and he says Alhamdulillah, then his brother or his friend or his companion. He should say, Yarhamukallah. And if he says, Yarhamukallah to the one that sneezed, then the one that sneezed, what should he say? Rasulullah said that in reply to Yarhamukallah, he should say, Yahdikumullah, wa yuslihu balakum. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, that if any of you sneezes and he says, Alhamdulillah, fashammituhu, then say, Yarhamukallah. But if he does not praise Allah, وَإِلَّمْ يَحْمَدِ اللَّهَ فَلَا تَشَمِّتْهُ Then you do not say, يَرْحَمُكَ اللَّهِ تِمْ If he does not praise Allah, if he does not say, Alhamdulillah. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you know sometimes a person, he sneezes and he sneezes again and he sneezes again, he sneezes more than three or four, three or four times, so what should a person do? Should he say, يَرْحَمُكَ اللَّهِ to all those times? If a person does say that, he can, it is permissible. And Prophet Sallallahu and more than three times he does not need to say 
the first time, second time, third time, yes, you can say Alhamdulillah. If he says Alhamdulillah, he sneezes. But after third time, it is not necessary. It is not, you know, wajib then to say Alhamdulillah. Because Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Shammit al thalathan. فما زاد فإن شئت فشمته وإن شئت فلا that the one sneezes say your hamakallah to him that is if he says alhamdulillah say hamakallah three times until three times after that if it increases meaning he sneezes again after that then if you want to say your hamakallah you can and if you do not wish to then you don't need to now if a non-muslim sneezes what should a person say you know, if a person sneezes and he should always say Alhamdulillah, regardless whether they are Muslims or non-Muslims present there, regardless, he should say Alhamdulillah because he is thanking Allah, he is praising Allah. Because Allah likes this and you have to thank and you have to praise Allah for it. But if a non-Muslim sneezes, what should he do? The Jewish in front of Prophet Sallallahu Wasallam, they used to sneeze. And they used to hope that Rasulullah would say Alhamdulillah to them. But instead, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would say, Yahdikum Allah, may Allah guide you. Rasulullah would not say Alhamdulillah to them. Rasulullah would say, Yahdikum Allah. These were regarding sneezing. Moving on to yawning. Yawning, it is not a good thing, it is a sign of laziness. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, وَأَمَّا التَّثَاءُبْ فَهُوَ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ فَإِذَا تَثَاءَبَ أَحَدُكُمْ فَلْيُرَدِّدْ مَا اسْتَطَاعَ فَإِنْ كَانَ أَحَدُكُمْ إِذَا قَالَ هَا ضَحِكَ الشَّيْطَانُ مِنْ That, however, as for yawning, it is from shaytan. If any of you yawns, he should try to stop it as according to his capability, as much as he can. If any of you says, ah, you know when someone yawns like they say, ah, when they yawn like that and they make the ah sound, ah sound, Prophet Sallallahu Wasallam said that shaitan laughs at that person for doing that. Another narration says that shaitan laughs with his friends at that person who yawns and he makes that sound when he yawns. So the sunnah is if a person he is yawning first of all, he should try to stop it as much as he can. Keep his mouth closed. Stop it as much as he can. If that is not possible, then he should cover it with his hand. Because Prophet Sallallahu said, إِذَا تَثَاءَبَ أَحَدُكُمْ فَلْيَضَعْيَبَهُ عَلَى فِيهِ فَإِنَّ الشَّيْطَانِ يَقُلُ مَعَ التَّثَاءُبْ That if any of you sneezes, he should put his hand on his mouth. He should cover his mouth. Why is the reason? Why did Rasulullah Sallallahu say that? Because shaitan, he enters into the mouth of a person that yawns.